Hello everyone, this is Pausch the Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Today we continue working with the transformer dress. The base dress is almost ready. Ole wanted to make it a bit more loose on the waistline. I remind you that there will be a skirt put on on top of the dress. If we decide that it's necessary to make the dress tighter on the waistline, we'll do it later. Have a close look at the lace. We showed you how to attach it. We showed you how well the leaves of the lace and the darts were joined manually. Notice that there is not a trace left after cuts. Don't worry if there are seams in the lace in your case. Modern fashion admits it. There is nothing wrong about it. Only standing here in front of us in a dress, so we can start making the skirt. The length of the skirt down from the waistline is about 108 cm. We decided to make it very long. If Ole thinks that it's too long, we'll make it shorter later. We do not want the skirt to go down to the very floor. Despite the fact that it looks beautiful, in practice it's not always convenient. The length of the skirt is 108 cm. I'll write it down. The waist measurement seventy six centimeters. The half of the measurement is thirty eight centimeters. I'll also write it down. We are going to work with the half of the measurement. We need to determine at which point the skirt is going to end on the waistline. I suggest making the opening about 12 cm wide. I remind you that the opening will go down to the bottom. If we make the opening bigger, there will be too big opening at the bottom. 12 cm would be enough. I'll write it down. The skirt does not reach the center for 6 cm on each side on the waistline. We can let Ola go now. I can start working with the skirt. When it's ready, we'll ask Ola to come back to try it on. In this case, we don't have a choice of the width and the volume of the skirt. It depends on the size of the piece of fabric we are working with. First, I need to draw a straight line here. I'll be cutting the details on the crosswise grain. In this fabric, it doesn't matter. Whether you need to cut on the crosswise on the lengthwise grain depends on the fabric you're working with. Some of you might make a seam on the center back. The width of this piece of fabric is 90 cm. So the full width of the skirt is 180 cm. The length of the skirt is 108 cm. I need to measure and mark it here. I also need to add about 20 cm for an overcast. Overcast is going to be wide. I'm going to fold 10 cm at the bottom twice. That makes 20 cm in total. There is still some fabric left for a bow. I've added 20 cm for an overcast. This is the piece of fabric I'm going to make this cut off. This is the piece I'm going to make the bow off. I can move this detail aside. This is the top part of the skirt, the center back. I want to overcast the skirt right away. I 
I'm gonna use this measuring tape. First, I need to mark the bottom of the skirt. I want to overcast it right away. It will be impossible for Ola to dry the skirt on without it being overcast. I need to measure and mark 20 cm here. You know what? I'll mark 30 cm. I'll explain why. That's right. To do a double overcast, I need to measure and mark 30 cm. Watch what I'm doing. I'll fold the bottom up to this line. You may ask, why have I decided to make such a wide overcast? This is for the skirt to look an odd couture skirt. I want it to be very beautiful and unusual. This is a very useful technique. We use it in my fashion house. I measure and mark 30 cm along the bottom of the skirt. It will be even more convenient to make the overcast if you also mark 20 cm. I'll explain why. I'll draw a couple of marks. The lower mark is 20 cm and the upper 30. When you learn to work with such strong fabrics, and when you learn how to make such overcasts, the garments you sew will look absolutely amazing. Have a look here. Here is the mark 20 cm. I fold the bottom up to this line, and then once again up to the mark 30. Next, I need to pin the overcast. I am doing it just for the fitting. The tailors of my fashion house will do it more carefully before stitching the overcast. When the skirt is ready, we'll show it to you. You need to pin the full bottom this way. Now you know how to make 20 cm wide overcast. That means 10 and 10 cm. It's necessary to make bottoms in such skirts heavy. Sometimes we make such wide overcasts in dresses. I have already tacked the bottom. I didn't want to waste my time, so I did it off the camera. You saw the way I folded it. I have almost finished taking it. This is not the only design of the skirt which requires making such overcast. Ola loves such long, strong skirts. I'm trying to show you designs and techniques which are interesting and useful for you. You can change the design however you like, make pleats or something else. My channel is educational. I want every one of you to succeed. Many of my subscribers are not professionals. Sewing is their hobby. When they come home after work, they want to do something with their own hands. This is why I try to choose the designs, which are useful and interesting for you. Have a look here. This is the bottom of the skirt. In my case, its width is 180 cm. You can make the skirt even wider. 250 cm, for example. It's up to you. The overcast is already tacked. Next, I want to take these sides of the skirt. They will be 8 cm wide. 
That means that I need to measure and mark 16 cm on each side. Sixteen centimeters here. Maybe later, when stitching the skirt, the tailors will fold up one centimeter, so that the edge is hidden. I'm not sure about it. For now, I just mark sixteen centimeters. I'll take just one of the sides. I need to fold the edge up to this line. Next, I need to pin and take it. I think that Ola will find something else to wear this skirt with. The short dress itself also looks gorgeous. A dress is a dress. But this skirt... We need to think about what else you can wear with it. Maybe a short skirt and a top, or some tight lace pants. At least now you have an idea of how to make such skirt. We will also show it to you when it's ready. I've tagged one of the sides. Next, I'm going to take the second one off the camera. I've also got the waistband. It's 15 cm wide. Perhaps 15 cm is too much. But for now, I'll work with the detail I have. I fold it in half and ironed. This is how I made the waistband 7.5 cm wide. The waistband is 128 cm long. 150 cm is too much. 128 cm is perfect. I folded it in half and ironed. Next, I need to mark the center back in the middle of the waistband. Next, we need to calculate how much length we need for a skirt and how much for a bow. The half of the waist is 38 cm. 38 cm minus 6 cm. The distance between the center back and the center front is 38 cm. The skirt does not reach the center front by 6 cm. It ends in these points. This is why I need to calculate 38 cm minus 6 cm. 32 cm from the center back to the edge of the skirt. I'll mark 32 cm from the center back in the waistband. Thirty-two. I need to make notches here. Do not forget to make them in the both sides. This is where the skirt is going to be attached. This is the center back. These are the pieces the bow will be made of. This is the center part of the belt, from one notch to another. The edges of the skirt will be attached to the notches. There are 32 cm in between them. I can put the waistband aside. Next, I need to calculate how much pleats we are going to make. That's all for today. Next time I'm going to show you how to make pleats on the skirt. My name is Pauk Shtirina. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Goodbye.